Hello and welcome to Megawatt. I'm Katie Scott. This week has finally seen the launch of Quantum of Solace. So there are going to be millions of would-be James Bonds running around the streets of London. And we've come down to Spycatcher in Mayfair to find out what kind of kit they could get their mitts on. Stay tuned. So it may look that I'm just standing on a London street being very, very inconspicuous. Well, as inconspicuous as you can be with a cameraman standing in front of you. But there is actually a reason for it because this button I am wearing here actually conceals a camera. I am actually recording absolutely everything that's going on around me. So if I turn, we get a nice shot of all of these rather posh scooters sitting here. And if I turn this way, then I could take surreptitious shots of Barclays Bank. And nobody knows. I'm actually wearing 650 quid's worth of surveillance kit. The camera that is connected here can be hidden in all manner of buttons or screws. And they even showed us a tie and a brooch. And in my pockets, this device has an SDHC card, which I'll pop out now. The team behind it say that they've tested the software up to about four gigabytes, which gives you four hours of recording, which is actually plenty, especially if you're standing out on a street corner and it's really cold. In terms of battery, you get two batteries with it, each delivering about an hour and 10 minutes, but there is also a super duper battery, which delivers five hours. As I said, 650 quid for this, and it's available from Spycatcher. So you've got your devices sorted for surveillance on the street, but how are you going to protect your home? Well, stay tuned because we have some nifty devices that do just that. Now we're going to hear a little bit from Lee Marks, who is one of the directors of Spycatcher. He's going to tell us who's buying these products and what they're using them for. Every couple of years, something comes along that increases people's interest and awareness about our type of products. Every two, two years you have a new James Bond film, every year you have a new series of Spooks or 24 or The Bourne Supremacy. These things all make the public much more aware of the equipment and of course it means that we get a lot more visitors. We've now got cameras hidden in working barrows, in watches, in um, infrared detectors for burglar alarms, in books, in sunglasses, virtually any domestic item that you can think of, the cameras are now small enough to hide inside that item. So, of course, whatever the circumstance, we've always got something that we can offer that will fit those circumstances and not look out of place. We had an example recently where someone was getting their car vandalised regularly. They bought a very small video camera and a digital video recorder. They put the camera in their lounge window and they saw quite clearly a man, probably 65 years old, very nicely dressed, lived in their block of flats and as he walks past their car, he gets their, his key out and he scratches the whole side of the car. Now they were able to take that evidence to the police and the police took the appropriate action. Without this type of equipment, they would never have found out who was doing it and to this day would have been having to deal with that same problem. So we are a one-stop shop. They can come here, they can go online, they can buy anything they are like, likely to need. Here's Jeremy who's going to show us a pen that is most definitely mightier than the sword. This is a perfectly ordinary pen with a camera hidden in a, just above the clip. It has a built-in two gigabyte memory. It's got a battery that will give about two and a half hours and it has a USB connection for recharging and downloading the video straight onto your computer for immediate viewing. Then simply put the tip back on, put it back in your pocket and films wherever you go, anything you do and anyone you see. For £98.99, this has got to be the ultimate gadget for any international man of mystery because this watch actually doubles up as an audio recording device. It packs in one gigabyte of flash memory, 
but as well as that, it actually looks pretty good. You've got three different options on the strap. You've got a metal strap, a black leather strap, and a white leather strap. And when you're not using it for spying, you can also use it as an MP3 device using the memory and also using the jack to slot in your headphones. So this may look like an ordinary DAB Sony radio, but you'd be fooled if you thought that that's all there is to this machine. Number one, it's 1,586 quid. Why is it so expensive? Well, it's actually a surveillance device and a very clever one at that because it has a built-in GSM SIM and it delivers both sound and video recording. So how do you access the video and audio content? Well, all you have to do is dial up the SIM number that you'll be given with the device from any mobile phone. So once you've dialed that number, you'll be able to see and hear what's going on in the room that the Sony radio is in. Also worth a mention is that this is actually compatible with micro SD cards, and they've put in up to two gigabyte cards, which means that you get about 35 hours of recording, but also means that you can take out the card, slot it into adapter, and then get the footage onto a computer if that's what you wanted to do. But I don't know about you, but holding this device in my hand and not knowing whether or not it's recording is making me feel a little bit paranoid. So I think I'm actually going to unplug it. So here we go, safe from Big Brother. But are we? No, in fact, we're not, because this 13 amp adapter is in fact also a surveillance device. It doesn't do video, but it does do audio. And what's handy about it is that as well as having a backup battery, it also runs off the mains power. So you can plug it in, and again, using the same GSM technology as the Sony device, you can dial in a phone number and listen to what's going on in the room. You can get your mitts on one of these adapters for 922 pounds and there's also a wall socket option looking at it surely there can't be any other devices out there as sneaky as this So are we finally bug free? Well, no we're not, because this basket of potpourri in front of us may look like something you would find in your granny's house, but it is, yes you've guessed it, a surveillance device. In here you have got an audio recording device which runs off AA batteries and you get about 10 hours talk time on it. What's in the basket is what is called an infinity bug and why is it called that? Well, it's because you can access it anywhere in the world. World. You don't have the problem of having to be in range of either a transmitter or a receiver. So what you're actually getting is an infinite number of places you can hide your infinity bug. Thank you. And now over to Jeremy who's going to talk to us about a phone fit for a spy. This is what we call the phone cam. This is a mobile phone which hides a CCD camera in the tip and a digital video recorder inside. At the moment the display shows that it's on and the time and everything, but if you click like this you'll see there's actually a camera looking out the top to show you um, wherever you point the phone it records, it's got a motion sensor so you can leave it on the shelf and as people come in and break the beam it starts recording automatically. Then also you can make the display go blank like that or back to the time okay or back to the what the camera's actually seeing okay so this recording dot avi files onto a micro sd card it does about one hour per gigabyte remove the card plug it into your computer and you have instant access I hope this week's episode has given you some gift ideas for the boy who has everything or for someone who just wants to do a bit of seasonal sneaking over Christmas. Join us again next week and in the meantime, why not check out www.megawatt.tv for tips, tricks, quick reviews and so much more. Thanks for watching.